so I'm great so, to be back here. I'm so happy to have you back here. Thank you. I, I love you. You know that I love you. I love the show. I love you. And uh, you were great Stop on Saturday it. Night Live. Thank we'll you. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, the last time I saw you, though, was at the Golden Globes. Uh, yeah. You were up for a, a million awards. Your show was up for a million awards. Yeah. And I was there, and uh, we saw each other. And I, was, I was up for one, I believe. Uh, and uh, Brian won and gave me a big old kiss. On the lips? Yeah. Had he kept, has he ever kissed you on the lips before? <laughs> before, no, but since, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Once kind you got a, a taste sense. of that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is. I just wanted to acknowledge, like, hey, hey, you won, hey, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Grabs my head, and that was it. And just you. Just me, yeah. Wow, well. I got the kiss from Daddy, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Maybe that's a foreshadow. Maybe we're seeing what's, what's going to happen with you, your character. You want me to give something away. I don't, actually. Okay. I, like, I like waiting and watching. Well, I know nothing anyway, so there's nothing yeah. I could, yeah. The last time you were here, you had just had a child. Yeah. It was a few weeks old. Yeah. And now here you are again, and you just had another child, and it's a few months old. About two and a half a months. Pattern. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's my little one and my lady. Uh, yeah, I guess every time I come on your show, I have to have just had, had a kid. Right. So... It's the farewell season, isn't it? Yes, it is. So it's a lot of pressure. I, no, <laughs> no, you're done with kids because I'm not back. So. Oh no. Yeah. Oh well. Did you want to have more? We did. All right, then I'll, I'll come back. You'll come back. Yeah, I'll come back then. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I did it, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Saved the show. That's all for you. Um, so your son, who was just born, mm -hmm. the first one's a girl. First one's a girl. What's yeah. her name? Z Zisu. Zisu. Now your son. And his name is what? Wilder. Wilder Wolf, right? Wilder Wolf, I yeah. love that name. Thank you. I like Wolf. Um, we, if we were going to have a child, we would have named him Wolf. And is so that we true? Got, Instead, we got a dog and named it Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. We did. My, my wife wanted Wolf. She was fighting hard for yeah, Wolf. It's, it's yeah, it's a great name. Yeah. Um, but wait, why didn't he have a name for seven weeks? We found it in the hospital the day that he was born, and we thought, That's great, but instead of pulling the trigger on it, let's torture ourselves for about seven weeks. I'm disagreeing with names before we come around to the name that we picked. When, um, because we didn't know if we were having a boy or a girl, and we had a long list of names, but when we were at the hospital, she had to have this antibiotic put in her. She had the epidural. She had this thing in here that she needs for about four hours to, to take place, but um, before, you know, she can. Uh, anyway, she's at the hospital, and she's told, like, oh, you're actually crowning now. You can have this child right now. Uh, but that means you have to stay an extra day at the hospital because you didn't get all your fluids. Or you can just, you know, hold it in for an hour and a half uh, so you can go home a day early. And she goes, hold it in. <laughs> and she goes, yeah, I can hold the kid. Yeah, I'll hold the kid in so we can go home a day early. So she did this. She's in bed, and we have a dry erase board, and we just went over every name that we had thought of. And we like, let's focus on girl names because, you know, we like these. And we narrowed it down to two girl names that we really liked. And we agreed that it was going to be one of those two names if it's a girl. And if it's a boy, we're screwed. <laughs> and we had a boy. And <laughs> spent seven weeks arguing about names. But how did you not, during the time of pregnancy, which I believe is nine months, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> how did you not, like, at least think of some, at that point, instead of a dry erase board, <laughs> while, while the baby's head is crowning in her? Uh-huh. Yeah, that would take some organization and some planning. That's yeah. not, not something that either of us do. Right. So you're not organized, no. and you just had a child, and you finally mm -hmm. named it, and you're moving into a new house mm -hmm. for the first time since you were how, how 19. old? 19. 19 years old. still living in the apartment that uh, I moved into, and I moved out of my mom's house when I was 19, this little one-bedroom apartment. And, um, <sighs> like, you know, during the pandemic, we're shooting the show, I'm working these long days, and uh, we had to give our child our bedroom because there was no other place for her to sleep. She was having sleep issues, so she had the bedroom, which meant we had nowhere to sleep. So I just like called 1-800-MATTRESS or whatever, put a mattress on the floor, and we were kind of sleeping on that for the last year and a half, two years. Um, there was and then, a, there was and then a, you decided, let's have another baby. Let's have another. <laughs> and there was a day in particular where I came home from a long day of work, and I came home, my wife was now like seven months pregnant. The place is a mess because I left it a mess because I had to go work all day. I came home and I tried to, I tried to explain like I'm a little too tired to clean up today. Is that okay? She goes, Yeah, it's fine. And I look at this like mess. I just look at it and I see she's pregnant. She's lying on a mattress on the floor and I go, Honey, I'm so sorry for how we live. And she goes, You know you're on a hit TV show, right? <laughs> we don't have to live like this. I'm, like, I'm, I'm trying, honey. 
But we're on our way up. So now you're you're moving. You got a house. We got, we got an apartment, yeah. yeah. A bigger one. Good. Well, you should be able to make some money. If you lived in that place since you were 19, I'm sure it's appreciated in value. Yeah, it has, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> you it was thought... a rental. Yeah. So... <laughs> so... No. That money's all gone. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Kieran. I know. I'm not someone, smart. Someone needs to... Uh, we need to talk. I know. I'm I need gonna someone help else you. to plan and organize my life. I'm going to help you. But you were fantastic on Saturday Night Live. Congratulations. Oh, God. Um, Thank you. It's such a dream. It's... It's so fun and so exhilarating. I'm going to talk to you about it because now we have to take a break. But, okay. um, but you were fantastic. Oh, thank you All so right. much. That's Karen Culkin. In one of my favorite shows, Succession, I look forward to it every Sunday night. I love it. Um, and that's a clip from the third season. You're already renewed for a fourth season. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, yeah. The characters are great. Every single one of the characters, and the writing is great. Portia and I will be watching it, and I was talking to the writers here today, and we'll just be, all of a sudden, we'll be into it and go, do you understand what they're saying? And she's like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I, we don't fully understand it, and yet we enjoy it. It's like, there's so many things that I don't know what they're talking about. Right, when it comes to, like, the company or what yeah. the issue is, or the shareholder meet, like, the, what's happening that, there. Yeah, sometimes yeah. I get a little confused myself. Yeah, but it's so good. Yeah. And, and what I love, because it is about a very wealthy family, that I, I learned today you have a wealth consultant on the show. Yeah. What does the wealth consultant do? <laughs> there's been a few things, like, you know, she'll mention... Uh, there's actually a few people, but they'll say, like, oh, they probably shouldn't be wearing winter coats because they get ushered from their building to a car, then to another building. That's not something they have to deal with, or they don't pack their own bags, so, and they don't handle, they don't even know where their suitcases are. Uh, there was one with, like, a helicopter. We were given the note not to duck your head going out because uh, you've been riding in helicopters your whole life. You, you know where the blade is. You're fine. But then the safety person comes on and says, absolutely... <laughs> Absolutely duck your head like you're gonna do that But then we do a take where Matthew McFadden who's like I don't know six three He steps out and he kind of ducks his head a little bit and goes and then I step out at a full five foot seven going I'm kind of an ass if I duck my head after a six foot three guy just did this a little bit Yeah, like how is he safe here? And I'm I'm not gonna go like this <laughs> When I'm, I'm, I'm this little. Those are very low propellers. Yeah. yeah. God, what a job to be a wealth consultant. Just to right? be somebody who says, no, nah, don't wear a jacket. Yeah, I hang around. I'm going to go people. home now. Yeah. Like, that's, it. that's it. But your locations, it's because it's a wealthy family. I mean, you were on that yacht, which was Italy. Was that Italy? That was in Croatia, actually. Oh, but that was it, beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot of these like locations that seem like, oh, that must be so much fun to shoot at these locations, but um, I, you don't get the time to really take that in. You just go there to work. Yeah. When we were on the yacht, my wife was about seven or eight months pregnant at home, and she was, she was basically having a moment where she's like, I'm in the hot sun of New York City, seven months pregnant, and you are on a yacht in Croatia. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not on a yacht. I'm on a set. I'm working. You know? On a yacht. On a yacht. In Croatia. And, you know, <laughs> but it's as if, like, between takes, we're having, sipping cocktails and jumping and going for a swim. But, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I know. It's, and it's a lot of dialogue, too. I mean, all of the... It's, it's beautifully shot and beautifully done, so I'm sure it's hard work. But it's beautiful location, so it's, that's what's fun to watch, too. Um, okay, so Saturday Night Live. So you were on for the first time. It is live. I mean, you've been in the business a while, but were you nervous? Were you... I was more nervous in the, like week and a half heads up that I got leading up to it. Mm -hmm. And then what everyone told me, which is true, is you're going to be too busy to be nervous. Yeah. You just, you're thrown into it. There's just so much to do. There's how much I have to read and I'm, I'm playing a what now? And then they put the, like, on show day, they're like, they pull you from the monologue. Like, you know, I, I finish my monologue, I get pulled into a room and they say, stick your arms out. And I go like this. They start taking clothes off me and won't lift my foot to put the shoe in. And I'm saying, yeah. what sketch are we doing next? And yeah. like the spectrum one, what's, oh, and push you out. There was one moment where they got me dressed in something, and I got up, and I was like, which, which one are we doing? And I think they said, are you doing cab driver or something? And I start walking out, and then another one pushed me in. Like, they, they, they canceled that one. They're not doing that. You're doing Weatherman. You're on in 20 seconds. And they just go like this. <laughs> they take your clothes off, put new stuff on, and you just run out there. And yeah, there I am. Yeah. I'm really glad I mentioned Weatherman. Yep. Now... <laughs> we have them all ready. <laughs>
Yeah. So much fun. It was one of the most amazing experiences. Yeah. And of then they got career. to lift you up at the end, like you when yeah. you were a little boy. Yeah. Which was that was yeah. a surprise. Yeah. Because I mentioned in the monologue that Kevin Nealon picked me up when I was a kid, and then it was so cute. At the end, they just scooped me up. Yeah. I didn't know they were going to do that. That was yeah. really cool. It was great. Well, you were great, and it's great seeing you. And congratulations Thank on the you baby. Thank you very much. And uh, Succession airs Sundays at nine on HBO. We'll be right back.